Welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform the quarterly monitor conformance test. To accomplish a quarterly conformance test, please ensure you have the PUC and the XCAL software. Note that there are two different types of PUCs. You'll only need one for the testing. Please call the tech support line if you do not have a PUC or you do not see the XCAL icon on your desktop. Please ensure that if you are using the X-Rite PUC that the lens cap swivel is rotated to expose the lens. If the test is run with the lens cap on, the ending result will be a failure. To ensure a successful conformance result, please make sure that ambient lighting in your reading room is low. The quarterly test requires about 5 minutes of time to complete. First, locate your puck and plug it into the USB port in the front of the computer. We must make sure that the puck is able to reach your imaging monitors. With puck in hand, stretch the puck out 6 inches past the edge of each monitor to be tested. If the puck will not reach, the next segment explains a workaround to this issue. If your puck is not able to reach, locate the USB cable shown here. This cable was packed with your monitors when you received them from VRAD. One end of this cable plugs into the computer, while the other plugs directly into the back of your monitor. This process will enable your monitor to become a USB bus, which allows you to plug USB devices into it. At this point, you can plug your puck into any open USB port on this monitor. XCAL may now be opened. You can open XCAL by using the shortcut on your desktop. If you do not have a desktop shortcut, you can navigate through the Start menu to locate and execute the shortcut. We must select the appropriate testing criteria from the XCAL menu. First, select the monitors using a checkbox in the left pane. Next, in the Tests menu, we will select the Conformance checkbox. Also, within the Tests menu, we will check the External Sensor checkbox. In the drop down menu, we must choose the appropriate selection for the puck we are using. For Verilum pucks, choose the Chroma 5 option. And for the X-Rite puck, choose the I1 D3 option. Finally, at the bottom of the XCAL menu, we will click Run to launch the test. We see a testing square appear on our first reading monitor. Each puck has a small puck weight included, which can slide down the puck's cable to the desired position, which is directly on top of the monitor. You'll need to tilt the monitor backwards so that the puck sits flat on the monitor into the middle of the testing square. When you're happy with placement of the puck, click the Start button at the bottom of the testing square to begin the test. At this time, the puck should not be moved. Any sudden movement of the puck will result in a testing failure. This test usually lasts about 10 seconds per monitor. When the test is finished, the testing square disappears from your main reading monitor. It then reappears on your secondary reading monitor. At this time, you should leverage the puck on the second monitor just as you did the first. 
so that it lies flat on the monitor within the testing square. Then click the Start button at the bottom of the testing square to begin the test. With the final test complete, we are returned to the main menu. At this time, we click on the Reports tab up the top of the menu. Then we click on the Charts tab to reveal the results of the testing. Any result showing 10% or less is a pass. If both monitors have passed, you may now exit the test and enjoy the rest of your day.